Am I the asshole for describing my wife as fat to our young children? Yes. Yes. 100%. Yes. You don't have to read anything else. Woo. We could, we, you wouldn't have to read. We could, we could just go. Like. My wife, 41, and myself, 44 male, both work in education and believe in properly explaining things to our children. Four female, five male. We have agreed to never use, quote, because I said so, reasoning with them. My wife is unfortunately around three stones overweight. Her weight has crept up gradually since having the kids, and I don't think she has even been aware of this gain until I gently raised the subject with her last year. She agreed she needs to remedy this. Since then, we have worked together to shift the excess weight, and I'm proud to say she's lost around 10 pounds, but she still has a lot of work to do to reach her target weight. She is best at sticking to her diet if there is no temptation around, so for Easter, I got her flowers instead of an egg. She seemed happy with this. Then, yesterday, my children were arguing over a missing Easter egg, each accusing the other of eating it. I knew instantly what had happened. I asked my wife to tell the children where the egg, which was quite big, had recently gone, and she admitted she had eaten it. My son, whose egg it was, was very upset and confused and asked his mom why she had eaten it. My wife replied that she would replace it, which would be impossible as it's now after Easter. Kids it's on care. clearance. Kids care. Kids no, it's care. on clearance. It'll be even cheaper. I pointed out that she has not answered the question our son had asked. He was very upset and kept asking why she had stolen his egg. I felt it was unfair she hadn't properly answered this as he was getting more distressed. My wife completely threw me under the bus here and said, quote, because I wanted a chocolate, but daddy didn't get me an egg. They already know the importance of healthy eating. So I explained that mummy was not wanting to eat too much sugar. Several, but why questions down the line. And I finally said, quote, because mummy is fat and she <laughs> needs to work on this by not eating sweeties. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. I used the word fat because my sister is fat and always says it is not a shameful thing. And she prefers to be described this way. She says to not use the word implies there's something wrong with being fat. I probably was an asshole to presume my wife would feel the same way about this term, and I wonder if I should have said overweight instead. My wife hasn't spoken to me since this and has seemed very upset. I feel terrible for upsetting her, but I think she was wrong to have taken our little boy's Easter egg without asking and wrong to have blamed me for her actions. I regret upsetting her and possibly using the wrong terminology, but I had run out of ways to explain to the children why I hadn't bought my wife an egg. But I do feel I might be an asshole for upsetting my wife. Oh, you, you are, are bro. An asshole. Oh. How about, uh, you know what? I was, I forgot. How it's about, my fault. I thought your mom would really love flowers more. Or I forgot. <laughs> what? Because he didn't want to be, he he didn't want to take any responsibility. No, he wanted he, to be on her. She was responsible for eating the egg. Your mom's fat. Am I wrong for refusing to let my in-laws meet my newborn? Okay, so backstory. I've been with my partner for almost six years. We've just had our first baby together. By just, I literally mean at 3 a.m. this morning. My partner is Greek, his whole family is Greek Orthodox, and they follow all traditions and religion very closely. Anyway, for the past five years, I have joined them at church for their Orthodox traditions on Orthodox Easter, and I would like my child to continue in this tradition. But last night, we were at my in-laws for dinner before we headed to church, and I started to feel this agonizing pain in my water had broken. I was 34 weeks, so a bit early, but labor was still a viable answer. My mother-in-law told my partner's whole family that I was faking it to avoid church and that I just want her son to abandon his family and religion for him and our child to join my monstrosity of a religion. I'm atheist. Anyway, my father-in-law then refused to drive my partner and I to the hospital because we were making his wife upset. My partner's sister then told them to stop being ridiculous and making it all about them, and she then drove us. I felt bad she was missing church, so I asked her if she'd like to stay to be part of the birth of her nephew. She stayed and was the biggest support for my partner and I. Anyway, this morning my sister-in-law told me about all of the abusive texts she was receiving from her parents and all the horrible things they were saying about me. I have always been close with the in-laws, so this is very out of the blue and hard for me to take. My parents came in to meet our baby girl just before lunch today and I have been receiving texts and calls from my in-laws asking to come meet her tonight after they celebrate their Easter. I haven't replied yet and they asked to come at 7 and it's getting closer to the time and I'm wondering if I'd be an asshole for telling them no and setting a boundary. My partner has told me he will support whatever decision I make and that if I want to wait for them to meet her, he understands after last night. Am I wrong for not paying for my daughter's prom outfit? 
I, 36 female, have four beautiful kids, two daughters, 17 and two, and two sons, 20 and 14. Growing up, I didn't have any fun birthday parties and I didn't get to go to prom or any of that since I was pregnant at a young age. I was very happy to see my 20 year old go to prom and give my kids parties. My 17 year old has prom this year. Last year, because of my baby girl, I couldn't give her a sweet 16. She didn't want one, but I did push it until she started doing more planning and we sadly had to cancel it before it could happen since we just couldn't afford it. She said she was fine with it and that was all. Here's our issue. Her prom is at the end of the month. Also, this month is my baby's birthday. Her cake costs around 200. She has three outfits getting handmade, personal planner and decorations, etc. So with this going on, we can't pay for my daughter's prom dress and all that. My son had a job, so he paid for his own. My daughter has yet to get a job because her therapist claims she can't handle one due to her mental conditions. Yesterday, she came to me and said since it was spring break, we should go start looking for prom dresses since we've been putting it off. I told her that I thought she knew we wouldn't be able to get her prom stuff and she'd have to do that herself by getting a job. She asked me how I expected her to get a job and the money for her stuff and told her that that was her problem and she was almost a graduate and needed to figure that out herself. Out of nowhere, she burst into tears and started telling me I promised her I'd do this for her. I had, but that was a year ago. And threw the sweet 16 thing in my face and told me she had cried over it for months. Which I don't think is my fault since she didn't even want it in the first place. She's refusing to talk to me and said she won't go to her sister's party, just do something with her privately with her brothers involved because it hurts too much. And that she will ask her father to help her with prom. Which hurt me since she's been open about how she likes her dad more than me. It feels like she's only doing it to rub it in my face. I thought my daughter would understand, but she's taking it very personal. But I do understand how I could be the asshole for saying I would do it and not clarifying later on that I wouldn't. Opinions from parents, teenage girls, am I the asshole here? My husband, 33, has a friend, Carl, 33, who he considers to be one of his closest friends. My husband sometimes calls Carl his nicotine because of how much he misses him and wants to spend time with him. They do everything together. They're even co-workers working the same job. Unfortunately, Carl's wife passed away from cancer three months ago, which caused him to distance himself. My husband felt devastated for him. He recently started spending more time with him and brought him meals. We planned a three-day vacation to another state. I made a hotel reservation for two. Unbeknownst to me, my husband had invited Carl to come with us. This made me upset because it spoiled the entire vacation. Not trying to be dramatic, I only found out when he went to pick him up. I sucked it up after my husband explained that Carl is a recent widower who has been wallowing in grief for so long and needed this vacation. The problem is money is tight and since Carl hasn't worked ever since his wife passed, he couldn't pay for his own room and we didn't have a budget for it. My husband said that we should just share one room. I again sucked it up since he said that we'd be out all day on the beach anyway. First night, I was in bed when my husband and Carl got back. I got woken up by my husband telling me to get out of bed and sleep on the mattress he put on the floor for me and that he and Carl would take the bed. I asked if he was serious and he asked what else is he supposed to do. He said that Carl was a guest and we can't let him sleep on the floor and at the same time, I can't share a bed with Carl while he, my husband, sleeps on the floor. I told him I didn't sign up for this, but he told me to suck it up and try to put the Carl as a widower card. I told Carl to get out and then got up and got dressed to go home. My husband started yelling at me, calling me irrational, but I wasn't having it. I left the hotel and traveled back home. Carl didn't say anything when he saw me leave except that I was making this non-issue an issue. When they got back, my husband refused to even talk about it, but still said that I ruined this for Carl and us and acted aberrantly and disgustingly. I admit Carl is struggling and I might have ruined this for him, but I didn't even know he was coming. Am I the asshole for going home after I got told to sleep on the floor? Am I the asshole for embarrassing my boyfriend in front of everyone? Me and my boyfriend have been together for just over two years. This happened at a family party for his sister's graduation. As my boyfriend gets drunk, his humor becomes very mean. He's constantly making jokes about me and putting me down. He says it's British humor, but I've not seen other Brits do this. Throughout the night, he's making jokes about me, which get progressively worse. For example, someone smashed a glass and he told me to stop singing. Then, him and his friends started talking about his ex-girlfriend's butt. My boyfriend then said to me if I could have my ex's body and your brains, I'd be winning. Am I the asshole for embarrassing my boyfriend in front of everyone? I said you don't hear me comparing your tiny pee pee to my ex's. And if she's that hot, she would need something more to satisfy her. No wonder she broke up with you. He got super mad, stormed off, and I left soon after. He, his friends, and some of his family members are now calling me the asshole for this. When I explained I did the same thing that he did, they said it's different for guys who are sensitive about their size. And to me, that's just pathetic. I know it was petty, but am I the asshole? I also want to say size really doesn't matter to me. It was just a good comeback. Am I the asshole for asking my sister to consume less menstrual products or I won't buy them for her anymore? My 21 male sister, 19 female, moved in with me 10 months ago because she wanted more freedom from our parents. She's in college and while our parents are paying for her studies, I have to pay for everything else. 
Since she moved in with me, I handle food, bills, and every other expense. And she's still currently looking for a job. I don't think I ever made her feel like an expense or a burden. Lately, though, I've been struggling to fit everything in my paycheck. I even had to ask my parents to give me some money or she would have had to go back home. The issue is she consumes too much menstrual products. 